What's up guys? Um, I am home for Thanksgiving. I'm in my hometown in Texas in my high school bedroom. So today I just kind of wanted to shoot a quick video of travel items that I cannot travel without plus a mini Nordstrom Rack haul that I accumulated um, last week while I was home in Texas. So let's go ahead and get started. I will start on the tech side of things and start with my iPad mini. I've had this thing for so long. It's just really easy when I don't want to get my computer out and actually have like a whole setup and work. This is so much easier to just grab and go. A little bigger than my iPhone, way smaller than my computer, so it is definitely one of my go-to grab things to keep with me at all times when I'm traveling. Next are my headphones, my earbuds actually, um, not my over-the-ear headphones. I like to just kind of wrap these up and put them in my backpack. I got these from Urban Outfitters and they are gold earbuds and they have um, a speckled gold cord. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're by Skinny Dip and Skinny Dip just makes the best earbuds. They're so cute. They have some with donuts, some with like pizza, so you can definitely get like a fun pair, but I went with the gold because I feel like they just go more with things rather than the donut ones. <laughs> Even though I really wanted the donut ones. I love donuts. Next, uh, when I got my headphones, I also got this um, travel battery pack. And it's the marble print from Urban Outfitters. This thing uh, packs some juice. That is for sure. Definitely recommend this. I was, I'm always hesitant to get a travel battery because I'm like, oh, is it going to charge my phone for 15 minutes and then die? No, this thing lasts a good few hours. So I love this guy. And it's so thin, so easy to travel with. So... All right, so I've got a hat here. I always travel with my hat because um, I have a lot of crazy hair days when I'm traveling and I feel like travel days are always like get up and go. They're really never relaxing for me during the holidays because I'm always like doing something with my family. We're always going somewhere. I think a hat is so good when I don't have time to fix my hair. The Texas weather is so crazy and humid. So <laughs> this is like my camouflage. Just a quick tip. When I pack my hat, I put it in my suitcase upside down and I pack around it. Roll, I roll all my stuff when I pack and I roll everything around the hat and then stuff clothes inside the hat and it holds its shape really, really well. So that is my little ash tip for packing a hat. In case you didn't already know. Then I always have to have a backpack of some sort. This one I got from Topshop obsessed with it. So like traveling with the backpack is so easy because your hands free, it's on your back, you know, you can have room, you can have room for your hands to carry your other luggage, you know, your boarding pass. It's just so much easier when you have a backpack on versus keeping up with a purse. This one's small. It's not, you know, a normal sized backpack. It's kind of a little mini guy. The only bad thing is, is my laptop doesn't fit in this. So I put it in Ryan's <laughs> travel bag, which I guess is a good thing because then I don't have to carry it. Hmm. Smart. I just put this little pom-pom um, on it because I thought it was cute. It also comes in a tote and a crossbody clutch version. So I will link those below as well. Gucci vibes. Love it. Then of course a neck pillow. This one is, these things can be so expensive. These things can be like $30. This one was $7.99 from like a TJ Maxx or something like that. So you know, usually stores like that have these for really good prices. So don't pay $30 for one because this one was $7.99 and it was super squishy and comfy and I love it. Then some snacks that I love traveling with. First is my Skinny Pop popcorn. These things are like mostly half air anyway, so it's a good grab and go snack. Keep in my bag, it tides me over. It's not super heavy, super easy. Love this stuff. Next are my little mini bars uh, by Health Warrior. This one is coconut, and look how small they are. They're so cute and so small. They're only 110 calories. They're so easy to throw. I have like six of these in my backpack, and they take up no room at all. Oh, the sun's coming in. It's bright. I hate eating with my hands when I'm traveling because I'm such a germaphobe, and I like will not use my hands for anything when I'm traveling. So this is good because I can just kind of peel back the wrapper and eat it and then not have to worry about, you know, germs and whatnot. Ugh. 
Next are my beauty products that I can't travel without. I don't bring my whole entire um, morning and night routine, but I bring my travel essentials. First thing I'm going to start with is my um, Neutrogena Acne Stress Control. I've been using this stuff for like seven years. Definitely use this when I'm traveling and when my skin's under stressful situations because it controls my breakouts. And if I start to get one, it clears it up like that. This is a must for me. Nobody has time for pimples. Okay. Next are my key moisturizers, my morning and night moisturizers. This is my morning moisturizer by Valentia and it is Pure Glow Brightening Moisturizer. Put this in my video yesterday um, to answer a Q&A. Stuff smells amazing. It's like almost energizing. I can feel my skin waking up whenever I use this. It's a good primer for my makeup. So it kind of takes the place of a primer as well. It's not too greasy or too oily. It is perfect. So love this. And then for my nighttime moisturizer is my Valentia Royal Rose Hydrating Serum. And I love this because it's a little guy. So it's super easy to travel with. And I just kind of put this on as my finishing touch after I finish washing my face. You can just kind of feel... You know, when you put it on, it's so moisturizing, and then you wake up with, you know, still smooth skin. So, obsessed with this and the size, so love it. The last beauty item is my Valentia Fresh Mist Calming Toner. I use this after I put my makeup on. I feel like it sets my makeup, closes my pores, locks everything in, and this is my finishing touch at night after I put my, um my rose serum on, I spray this on my face and I can just really feel it tightening and kind of locking in all the moisture and it smells really nice and feels good. So <laughs> I love this stuff. This almost acts as like a rehydrator for your skin. So if you're feeling kind of, you know, like you've been traveling all day and your skin's kind of like doing funky things, spray this on and you just feel like woken up and refreshed all over again. And I've got two perfumes here. My um, Mugule Angel Perfume. I love this stuff and this is easy to travel with because it's a small bottle. Um, I'm almost out of it, womp womp womp. Good thing about this is they have refilling stations, I think at like Macy's and Ulta, that you can just refill this without buying a whole new bottle. So that is muy bueno. And then of course my mini Balenciaga Cannot travel without this perfume. I really need to get a travel size because this bottle is too pretty to travel with. I'm afraid it's gonna break, <laughs> but I love this. It's my everyday perfume, so cannot go anywhere without this stuff. So yeah, those are a few of my travel items that I just spit <laughs> everywhere. Mm. You know in the comments below what your go-to travel items are because I'm gonna be traveling here at the end of the month for Christmas, holiday time, so Give me some tips and tricks on what you guys do for your travel routine. I'll go ahead and get into my little Nordstrom Rack haul. I'm super excited. First thing I got were these Nike um, leggings and these are great for traveling because they roll up really, really small and they were only like $15. I think they were $29 and it's got a rose gold Nike check on the leg. So these are a great color. I have a lot of big black sweatshirts that I like to work out in. So it's great to throw over this. Came in black as well, but I got the gray. The next thing I got was this uh, mock neck slash, not really a mock neck, more of a turtleneck, kind of layering shirt. And it was $15. The brand is 14th and Union. And I think it's just good for layering or wearing by itself because it's actually not see-through, which so hard to find a good cream basic shirt that's not see-through. It's a great color. It's not too cream, not too white, just kind of a good balance uh, in between. Next we have this little gold bag by Dulux. I don't know. I can't read. But it is just a cracked gold kind of patterned bag. I love this. Oh, look how cute. It's got little doggy inside. I love that. You guys see that? That's so cute. I just thought it was a good little basic for when I need a metallic bag, which is always and it was quite the markdown um i think this was like 70 dollars, and i got it for 12 so this was a really good find and it's small enough that i can just you know put my essentials in and be on the go I like that it has black in it it's not too in your face metallic you know it's got like a little texture print little black so love this i got these french connection reversible earrings and 
I was so excited to find these because I've been looking for a good pair of reversible earrings and I like that one side is matte and one side is more of a shiny gold. So, so excited I found these. These were $38 and I found them for, I believe they were $5.99. So this was a no-brainer for me. I was really excited to buy these. Oh. <laughs> Next we have this gold skirt. Oh, I love this so much. I was going to that interior design fashion show uh, the night that I got there and I was kind of panicking because I didn't have anything to wear. So that's why I went to Nordstrom Rack in the first place and I found this gold skirt. This was, I believe, originally over $100 and I bought it for $12, like $12 or $15. I'll post a photo of me wearing it right here so you can see what it was. I just paired it with a simple black mock neck. I feel like it didn't need a whole lot. Black Chanel, black booties. It's got a slit. And it is by Soprano, and I got a size extra small. So I hope I can find this somewhere for you guys because it is like really good for the holiday season for work parties or any kind of holiday party you have. I think this is a good option. And next I got my rose gold water bottle that I have been like carrying with me nonstop. Everyone's always like, why is your water bottle so big? And I'm like, because I drink a lot of water got me the rose gold one and I got Ryan a black one. And they were only $14. They are not by Swell. A lot of you guys are asking me who makes them and I'm not sure because I ripped the packaging off and there's no label anywhere. This is more of a matte one, but they had some really like metallic-y, shiny looking ones. Is that correct terminology? I feel like it's not. This is like a third of a, the price of a big Swell bottle. I think my big Swell bottle was like $45. This one was $14, so Love it. And I actually put cold water in this last night and then when I woke up this morning it was still like ice cold. So serves its purpose. What a great gifting item. This is like such a great gift for the holiday time. So that reminds me. I need to make a gift guide. Right? I need to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm putting that on my list. That is it for this mini haul slash items I can't travel out without. I don't know, I wanted to do both videos, so I was like, why not just make them into one video? Like a little two-parter, so <laughs> that happened. Those of you obsessed with this backpack, I really hope I can find it below. I'm this in the Life by Her lookbook, so I'm gonna be styling this baby pretty soon. Lifebyher.co slash lookbook to check out the lookbook and see what it's about. If you do join the Life by Her lookbook, be sure to go check out our Facebook page. Come join us, it's where all the cool kids hang out. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you guys in Sunday's video when I'm going to be styling overalls and creating a lookbook for that. So stay tuned and I will see you then. Bye. It's in there. And the cleanest bathrooms I've ever seen in a convenience store. Did you sit on the seat? No. What have you been doing? Just chilling. Chilling? Chilling?